Are you struggling to find a routine for you and your baby? Honestly, that works for you. I get it. Like the first three months my daughter was here, like was honestly beautiful. Like it's the newborn snuggles, it's all the amazing things, right? And then like three months hit and I was like, oh my gosh, I need some kind of routine. Like I'm totally type A. So I needed something that I felt like there was a rhythm going on. Almost this normalcy feeling, but there's really no normalcy when you have a baby, but that was what I was looking for. So I want to share with you really what my day looks like. Um, it's pretty simple, but I wanted to share just what exactly like my day is broken up into. So that way, hopefully it'll help you to structure your day in a way that you can be more productive and just feel better as a mama. Hey y'all, my name is Alexis. I am a new mama to Miss M.E.K. and I am on a mission to help moms like you to enjoy motherhood and to be the mom that God has called you to be. So if you are new here, I actually have a blog and I am over there way more than I'm on here on YouTube. Um, writing is just a little bit easier for me. So if you need anything from trying to conceive all the way through postpartum, I have tons of content. I have over 200 blog posts there at the time of this recording. So you will be able to find pretty much anything you need over there. So make sure you head over. The link is down in my description. But if you are new here, I do want to welcome you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I know how easily it is that these videos get shuffled in with each other. So if you don't want to miss a video, make sure that you hit the little bell too so it notifies you. So before I get into today's routine, I want you to know that I broke this up into morning, afternoon, and evening. And the reason for this is because my daughter takes two naps. So when she was taking four naps, I used to look at my days always in blocks. So it'd be first block, second block, third block, fourth block. And everything that needs to get done in that block um, only needed to get done in that block. It didn't matter um, what the next block was coming up. I only need to worry about you know, those few things that were going to happen. And the nice thing about looking at your day in blocks is that you don't have to worry about things not going in order. Things are allowed to go out of order, um, which really helped me to stick with a routine and stick with things that um, I knew were coming up. So, you know, if I knew for my first block that there were five things that needed to get done, but it didn't matter the order, it didn't stress me out if something didn't go according to plan, right? So that is the first thing you need to know before we get into this video. I do have seven tips over on my blog Blog if you want to check out how to stick with this routine that is the hardest part of keeping a routine especially with a baby is sticking with it so head over to the blog that link is down in the description so let's look at my morning block so the very first thing that I like to do is take a shower now I like to do this before Miss Emmy gets up but that doesn't always happen that way because she's a terrible slip sleeper slipper <laughs> she's a terrible sleeper so you know if she is not sleeping well that night I need my sleep so I need to sleep till she wakes up so I always take a shower during that first block and I always obviously change and feed her the another necessity that must happen for me the next thing that I do is make sure that I get breakfast. Um, even if I need to meal plan, like in the beginning, I had to kind of meal prep everything and have just basically like microwavable breakfast ready because if I am not fueled and I don't have energy, I am very cranky and I am way less willing to be uh, just playing or being with my daughter. So I need to have breakfast. That's the next thing. Then every morning we go on a walk. I use this time sometimes to call my mom, to pray. Um, honestly, like this time is amazing. So I do this every day. I truly believe this is why my daughter never had her days and nights mixed up because she was out every single morning. They say like if babies get out before noon, it helps them with their, um, is it like circadian rhythm? Something like that. Anyway, made sure every day to get her out for a walk. Then comes nap time. So during nap time, I make sure that I take a little time for self care, which was way easier when my daughter was little because she took more naps. But now that she's taking two naps, I like to just take like 15 to 20 minutes just for myself, whether that's sitting down to read a book, uh, listening to a podcast, maybe reading my Bible, like whatever I need to do in that 15 to 20 minutes just to give myself a little bit of time. Then I'm going to work on making a list of things that are a necessary thing to get done today. 
you don't want to just like tell yourself oh, here's this whole long list of things I need to get done like give yourself a realistic list of things that need to get done during that nap now if your daughter or your child wakes up early it can be really frustrating because you feel like you didn't get it all done so give yourself kind of like this here's all the things that I need to get done today and if they get done during her nap her second nap or maybe after she goes to bed it'll get done today and that'll make you feel better and make you not feel like it needs to get done right this very second if things don't go according to plan. All right, next let's look at the afternoon block. So obviously I get her up from her nap, I feed her and I change her, and then I typically play with her. I give her some time, like some one-on-one. -on -one. I think this is so important when babies are little for not only their development, but just for you guys to be able to bond. So. Make sure you're taking that time to be together. Um, then I allow her to have just some free play, some independent time, and I typically make lunch during this time, but sometimes if lunch is like something really quick that it's just like a throw together thing, I will um, do some things around the house or you know maybe kind of knock off some of those things on my to-do list that I can do while Emmy's playing on the floor. Um, then I am pretty much ready to go down for nap time. Now, sometimes scrap all the things I just said and I need to run errands. And so I'm gonna head out and run errands um, and take her with me and I'll plan to bring lunch and do all that and then we'll just play together at nighttime. Um, so just keep that in mind, like your middle block could be your errand run if that works better for you. Okay, last but not least, we're going to look at our evening block. So again, baby wakes up from nap, you're going to feed and change them, and then I, again, let her have some one-on-one um, -on -one play time. Again, I just think this is so important. So sitting there, like face-to-face, -face, on the floor, um, we like to play right now with her blocks, but when she was little, we would just do tummy time, and I would lay there with her. Um, so just keep this time sacred like do this a couple times a day it does not have to be long it could be just 10 minutes uh, but make sure that you're sitting down to play with your little one then i allow some free time and typically my husband's home by this point so he sometimes will play with her so i can get stuff done so maybe i'm working um, on the blog or i'm just getting stuff done around the house laundry you name it doing it during that time then i'm prepping dinner. So if he's not home, I'll give her some free play time so I can start making dinner. Now, I like to make dinners like in the Instant Pot or things that I can like prep. So sometimes I'll prep those during like an earlier nap just so I can throw it together during her free play. But if I can't, I'll just cook it now. Um, so I'll go ahead and make that. We'll all sit down, we'll have dinner together, and then uh, we go on an evening walk. And this time is like so sacred to me. I love this time. My husband and I really get to just connect and be together, talk, chat, see how our days have gone. Um, so we do that and then we go home, put Miss Emmy down for bed, and then we have our own time. I usually work for a couple hours in the night um, on my blog just to kind of get ahead get some things done because I can't always get it done during the day and then um, I'll do things like laundry or um, Just like doing things around the house. I don't know dishes the, the all the things so then I Make sure to spend a few minutes for some self-care time before bed Maybe that's yoga reading a book just taking time to like wash my face, do a facial, like any of these things. I do it every night, 15 to 20 minutes of just me time. Then I get in bed, my husband and I usually snuggle, watch a show and then go to bed and do the whole thing all over again. So that is my daily routine. I hope that this helped you. Like I said, I think the most difficult part is not just like structuring your day, it's actually sticking with it. So if you need some more helps, honestly the secret sauce to like sticking with your routine, head over to my blog, that link is down in the description for the seven tips that'll help you actually stick with your routine. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions about my daily routine because I'd love to answer them. Yeah, I guess that's it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Like I said, I post a video every single Wednesday. Alrighty y'all, I'll see you next week.